Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat welcoming you to the 2024 preseason video of the New York Jets franchise on Madden 24 the PC. Today we have all four preseason games for you, plus moves that impact the final roster and the season seven schedule for this Jets squad. To start out our preseason, the Tennessee Titans have been invited to MetLife Stadium. The Titans have it first, and they get to take a look at some of the starters on the team. And Marcus May makes a tackle on former Jet Justice Hill. There are a number of former Jets on this squad, so it would be interesting to see how they play against their former teammates. Jackson takes it around the right side for a nice 10 yard gain. And if you take a look at some of these linemen for the Jets, they should be able to push the Titans around just a little bit and open up some holes for the running backs. And after a nice completion, the drive stalls. And we have a blocked kick. Rookie Wyatt Sanders gets in there for the block. Harold Landry running down the middle of the field, cannot be caught, Thomas in chase, but he just doesn't get there in time, and it is a touchdown for the Titans. Now seven to nothing, Darnold and company tried to do it again, and Darnold goes down. Kevin Byard on a free safety blitz gets in there for the sack. Mariota fakes the handoff and it goes to Humphreys. And he's down to the 38 yard line with a nice pickup. Third and three now. And it's a first down over the middle to Corey Davis. Now another fake handoff, the pass into the end zone and it's intercepted. Jamal Adams in the back of the end zone gets the grab. And I would say that backfield of the Jets is going to be very good with Marcus May and Jamal Adams. And a completion out to Thomas. Now into the second quarter and the backups in there. Br Terrell Briscoe with the tackle for loss. And he is heading up a very strong and deep outside linebacker contingent. And there you see a nice gain by McIntosh. Rookie William Calhoun is taken down by Justin Lane, one of the cornerbacks that the Jets acquired in the offseason in hopes that they can make an impact for the Jets at the cornerback position. Ramsey back to pass and throws desperately, and it's intercepted. Jacoby Parker makes the grab and takes it all the way back. Touchdown Titans and they lead this ball game 14 to nothing. With almost four minutes left in this first half. Ramsey hits Valdez Gantling on the slant pattern. Back to pass again and it's the same play and same result again. The Jets are finally on the move after that first play jitters for Ramsey. And that one's completed to Knox down to the 20 yard line on another slant pattern. The drive stalls and this one is up and good. Rookie Trent Lyon making it 14 to three. Now into the third quarter. Backup Riley Graham in there for another series and Terrell Briscoe makes the tackle. Third and eight and this is a huge one and he's gone. Marcus May gets burned off the line and rookie, rookie wide receiver for the Titans. Vincenzo Thornton takes it the distance and it's 21 to three in favor of the Titans. The screen pass to Jacobs is good out to the 31 yard line, giving the Jets just a little bit of room and over the middle, complete to Terry McLaurin. 
And that I know is a battle for the wide receiver, the slot position between uh, McLaurin, Wesley Johnson, and Valdez Scantling. And here McIntosh finds an opening and he is gone. Touchdown number four for the Tennessee Titans. And the score is now 28 to three. Not a very good showing right now for the Jets in their home opener in the preseason. Oh, and speak of Johnson, he makes a cut and he's out to the left side all the way down the end zone. Touchdown. A 96 yard return for the rookie. Now with about three and a half left in the third quarter. Graham fakes the handoff, throws over the middle to a wide open. Jacquez Fuller, fourth year receiver out of Michigan State. McIntosh up the middle again, powers his way and finally tackled by Harvey Gabriel. The drive stalls and that is three points for the Titans. Now Ramsey out of the shotgun, throws down the field and way overshoots his target and it's intercepted by Wyatt Sanders and taken back to the 45 yard line of the Jets. And I think you're gonna find that true of Toby Ramsey, he just doesn't have the accuracy, especially when it comes to the deep passes that he is going to need to make it further in his quest to be a starter in this league. First and goal for the Titans now, and he, uh, it's a fumble, and it's picked up by Frankie Luvu, ripped out by Terrell Briscoe, and Luvu is being chased and will not be caught by Zachary Garrett, and that puts a touchdown on the board for the Jets. And there you see the numbers for Toby Ramsey, 12 of 28. Not a very good night for him. And down he goes. Keon Lauderdale making the play for the Titans. Back to pass and intercepted again. Wyatt Sanders with his second interception and this one goes all the way for a Titan touchdown. 38 to 17 and that is your final score here at MetLife. And in this one, the Titans looked just as strong as they did last season. Well, our next contest is still at home in MetLife against the Green Bay Packers. The second year quarterback Brandon Bryant out of LSU is now the signal caller taking over that spot held by Drew Locke last season. With him at the forefront, the Pack expect that they can have a winning season this year and imagine a playoff spot at least. Bryant makes a nice spin move and is out in the... Oh, he's going to score a touchdown on the very first play from scrimmage. What a start for the Pack. Not very good for the defense of the Jets, I would say. And Darnold goes across the middle. And John Ross is out in the open. He's going to score a touchdown. This game is starting off like it's going to be a shootout here. With eight minutes left to go. And the first is finally slowed down just a little bit. A nice completion over the middle. And there again to Devontae Adams, a first down pass. And that drive stalls and Anthony Peralta comes out and puts the pack on top by a score of 10 to six. Donald looking downfield and hits Jackson for a first down out to the 37. Now third and two. Darnold hits McLaurin over the middle for a first down. 
Darnold from the shotgun. Look, can't find anybody and finally goes down. Sacked by Adrian Amos. Now second and 18. And Darnold had all day to throw it and completes it to Carl Arsenal down to the 27. The Jets seeming to get into a rhythm here. Jackson takes it to the right side and he has the first down out at the 16. That drive stalled and the Jets put three points on the board. Bryant can't find anybody open. It is taken down by Demarcus Faulkner. Darnold back, can't find anybody open and he gets taken down himself. D Ford getting in on the stop. Bryant out of the shotgun. Throws over the middle, short, but it's a first down to Aaron Jones. Now to the I formation. The fake pass, and it's over the middle, complete to rookie Robert Barron. Now second in five. The fake handoff again, going all the way to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Justin Lane takes it back to the 16-yard line. That is his second interception in this preseason, and the Jets may have found themselves a ball hawk. Darnold going over the middle. First down, John Ross out to the 32. Donald lets it fly again, completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And that is another first down. Donald finding his receivers at this point, and that one's complete to Carl Arsenault. The Jets drive it all the way to the eight, and it's intercepted. Josh Jackson makes the grab at the two, and Terry McLaurin is trying to catch up with him. I don't know if he's going to be able, oh, a shoestring tackle at the five yard line. That puts the Packers at in a first and goal situation inside the two minute warning. And a pass out to Jonu Smith and it's a touchdown. The Packers go up 17 to nine. 30 seconds left, can Darnold do anything and Jackson makes a move as out in the open is he gonna score you no know, tackled at the one yard line now Darnold back to pass throws complete in the end zone touchdown John Ross that brings your score within two points that would mean that oh yep they're going for two. Darnold back to pass, throws, and it is well short and incomplete. Now into the third quarter, your backups come back in, and Josh Jacobs takes it up the left-hand side for a first down. Ooh, Ramsey gets hit, and he completes it anyway out to Valdez Scanley. And I have to give Ramsey kudos on that for standing in the pocket long enough to deliver that pass. Third and four. And that one is complete to Johnson. That is the Jets' second round draft pick. And they're very, very high on his capabilities to become a very good slot wide receiver for this offense. Ramsey back to pass, bounces it off of one of his own player's helmets, and it's intercepted. Griffin Henry takes it back to the 18-yard line, and Ramsey is still looking for his first touchdown here in the preseason. Locke can't find anybody open and goes down in the arms of Jerron Mason. Back to pass again. And this time he is sacked oh, at the one yard line. Frankie Lubu and uh, Lorenzo Carter getting the credit for that sack. Ramsey chased out of the pocket, delivers it to Wesley Johnson. He's in there for the touchdown. A 38 yard strike. 
and the Jets take the lead in the football game, 22-17. Ramsey back again and gets sacked by Rashawn Gary. Back in the hands of the Packers. Bryant throws it deep and it's completed to Zachary Jamison. Now another pass to Jamison again. And they're trying to get a look at some of the rookies on this team. And right now the Packers are moving the football. Hunter Hicks out of Abilene Christian takes it down to the seven yard line. And powering his way down to the two is Vincent Wright. Now Locke throws and it's knocked down Raphael Pope with the play in the end zone for a Jets goal line stand. The Jets get nowhere, so the Packers ball again knocked away by Jerron Mason. And Locke again passes, and this one is complete to Jamison. Again, this Packer offense looking pretty good against the backups of the Jets. It's second and two. All day to throw it. Locke delivers it downfield to the six-yard line. Christopher Hayes, the recipient of that pass. And Hayes, oh, he just about makes it into the end zone. Raphael Pope with another saver in the back of the end zone. Third and goal, and it's a touchdown pass. Another rookie, Joshua Anderson, making the grab. And that gives the Packers the lead, 23-22, and they're gonna go for two. And that one is complete in the end zone. D'Angelo Wembley. That gives the Packers a three-point lead. And Ramsey and company make it down the field. That one completed to Johnson. Back again. Ramsey completes another one to Ramsey. And he's out of bounds. From the 43 of the Packers. Up the seam. And it's down to the 20-yard line. Jordan Thomas with the big gainer. Ramsey throwing into the end zone and it's intercepted. Rookie cornerback Stephen King makes the grab in the back of the end zone. And that will do it for game number two. The Packers win this one 25-22. Unfortunately, the Jets drop both home preseason games this season, which brings us to AT&T Stadium and a rodeo with the Dallas Cowboys. The Jets will be trying to avoid a repeat of their last meeting where Ezekiel Elliott ran wild against the Jets' defense. And there was a lot of concern in the Jets' camp about the 4-3 cover three, not being a very good fit for this team, so that has now changed. And New York has moved to a 4-3 storm scheme. We'll have to see if that defense is a little more impressive than the last two weeks. The Cowboys start out with the ball. Elliott in the backfield. He gets the carry, and he's all the way out to the 33 on his first carry. Not bad. Prescott goes deep and it's knocked away from Amari Cooper by Justin Lane. Now Darnold out of the shotgun. Throws and it's completed out to Chris Herndon for the first down. In the 48 yard line over the middle complete to Wesley Johnson. He is having a very good preseason. I would say he's got to be a keeper from this draft class. Jackson finds a little daylight down to the 36-yard line. Darnold back to pass. Throws complete. That one to Carl Arsenault inside the 15-yard line. Now Darnold again. Back to pass. Throws complete. Touchdown. 
Jordan Thomas. Thomas with a nice contested pass reception in the end zone for a touchdown. And the Jets score first in this game. Prescott with the play action pass is sacked. That's backup Chris Gonzalez trying to make a spot on this roster. Prescott lets it fly. That one is stopped up by Julian Love, which is the counterpart of Justin Lane. Now the two of them are hopefully going to be able to make this cornerback crew complete with Robert Ramirez taking the top spot. And a screen play out to Jackson, getting to the 47 just before the end of the first quarter. Jackson takes it again, makes a nice move, and is all the way inside the 25-yard line. Darnold back to pass, throws complete. Carl Arsenault making a nice contested reception at the one. And finally, into the end zone, Arsenault makes the grab, and it is 14 to nothing in favor of the Jets. Elliott gets sandwiched by Cashman and Sheffield. Now, Sheffield was an excellent acquisition in the offseason. There goes Ross to the 36-yard line of the Cowboys, which brings on Trent Lyon for a 47-yard field goal, and it goes right through the middle. 17-0 is your score. Elliott tries to make a first down, but he's stopped by Jared Davis. And Elliott again, and this time stopped by Demarcus Faulkner. The Jets showing a cover two. Prescott back to pass, can't find anybody open, and goes down in the arms of Leonard Williams. Second and seven for the Jets now, and we finally get a look at backup running back Malcolm Odom, and he takes it for a nine yard gain. No problem picking up the first down. Jackson takes it out to the 47 yard line of Dallas, and Odom, Breaks through the line, he's gonna score. Touchdown, Malcolm Odom. A 30 yard touchdown run. That takes your score to 24 to nothing. Finally, in the third quarter, Elliott takes it for a nine yard pickup to the 34 yard line. Second and one, can the Jets D make a stop here? Elliott takes it up the center and bounces off the D line, and he's out in the open. Touchdown, Dallas. A 66 yard touchdown run by the superstar. Just give that guy enough carries and he is going to break one sooner or later. Now going for two points. They stop him in the backfield. Ja'Kai Polite, the first one to get to him. Donald now hands it off to Malcolm Odom. He has the first down and more out to the 38. Back to pass, Darnold throws. It's complete out to Johnson. Inside Dallas territory, but that the drive stalls and the punt goes out of bounds at the three yard line. Dallas with a three and out. The punt goes to Wesley Johnson and he's down inside Dallas territory to the 33. Darnold back to pass, throws over the middle, complete John Ross to the nine. The drive stalls and the Jets put three on the board. Now Prescott is sacked. Jared Davis getting to him in the backfield. Now into the fourth quarter. Jared Kinney in there at quarterback and throws an interception. 
Jamal Adams takes it back and is going to score. Touchdown, Jets. Not a very good start for Mr. Kinney. Now back to pass again. And he finds a receiver on the right side and it's intercepted Raphael Pope out of bounds at midfield. Valdez Scantling making a grab on the numbers on the left side. Ramsey drops back, finds a receiver. Valdez Scantling into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. That'll do it for the scoring. And this one, 41-6. About the only success that the Cowboys had was that really long run by Ezekiel Elliott. So the defense of the Jets, that change may be working. We'll find out here in our next game. And that is with the Kansas City Chiefs. Remember that their last meeting with this team was a wild card loss. So this could be a revenge game. Well, kind of, sort of. But then again, anything can happen in these preseason games. The Chiefs, for the most part, have the same personnel as last season, aside from some of the backups. And with the final game being about the developing kids, this should be interesting. Mahomes out of the shotgun. Throws complete to Travis Kelsey, and he is... Out, tackled at the 38-yard line for a first down. Mahomes again across the middle, complete to Freddie Richardson for the first down. Duke Johnson finds a little room, and he has a first down to the 38. Second and 10. Mahomes throws across the middle, and it's a touchdown! Kansas City. Richardson makes the grab and weaves his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Now Wesley takes it at the two, fumbles it, and picks it up. He's out to the 30, weaves his way through the crowd and out to the 37. Now Darnold goes down in the hands of Frank Clark. Third and 25 now. And Darnold completes this one to Arsenal, but well short of the first down. Mahomes throws across the middle. That one is broken up by Jerron Mason. Back in the hands of the Jets. Darnold goes across the middle. Arsenal again down to the 26 yard line. Now a third down pass, upcoming, completes this one to Wesley Johnson. Inside the 10, giving the Jets a first and goal. And it's a touchdown to Johnson. Wow, is he ever proving himself to be an asset to this team here in the preseason? We just hope that that can translate into success in the regular season as well. Richardson with the grab out at the 46 yard line into the second quarter and Fisher is now your quarterback and he goes down. Terrell Briscoe making the big play. Darnold completes this one to McLaurin. He makes a nice spin and out to the 40 yard line for a first down. Excuse me, that was Toby Ramsey and he completes this one as well to Johnson at the 46. Back to pass, hit as he throws and it's still completed to Terry McLaurin. Now from the 15, the handoff goes to Malcolm Odom and he pinballs his way down to the nine and a first and goal for the Jets. Ramsey throws the interception, middle linebacker Bryson Armstrong 
Makes the play and takes it back out to the 17 yard line. Fisher and company come back out on the field. And the 17 the pass is complete. A first down to rookie Anthony Dunn. Handoff, no, it's a fake. Fisher is dropped in the backfield. Terrell Briscoe getting to him. And they have to punt it away. Wesley fields the ball inside the 40 yard line and is all the way to the 41 of the Chiefs. Only problem was is they couldn't do anything with it. So it belongs to the Chiefs again and Fisher goes down at the one yard line. Both teams seem to be exchanging some bad series for right now and Wesley Johnson Catches another pass that gives the Jets first down at the 33. That pass completed to Valdez Scandling at the 11-yard line. Ramsey alone in the backfield. Completes this one. Touchdown, Terry McLaurin. Another slot receiver. Touchdown, and I just have a feeling that this is going to be a very highly contested position come day one of the regular season. Ramsey airs this one out. Valdez Scandling catches the pass. Touchdown Jets. They seem to be really on top of things right now. Odom barely getting out of the backfield on that one. And uh oh, Wesley Johnson is being escorted to the locker room this Oh, this can't be good. Third and inches, and McGee does not make it. Third and seven, Fisher passes out to Alex De La Rosa and gets the first down. Now from the shotgun, another pass to the right side, complete, Dunn has it, first down. Third and seven, and a deep ball is intercepted. Raphael Pope with the grab muscles his way past the couple of defenders and all the way out to the 42 yard line. I would think this cornerback situation here in New York is going to be tough because Pope has now his fourth interception in just as many games. That is going to be a really tough decision and an interception is thrown by Ramsey and that puts the Chiefs in excellent scoring position. Fisher goes down the middle. Ian Thomas, touchdown Kansas City. That brings us to a one-score football game. And after a jet three and out, the Chiefs have it again, and De La Rosa catches it down at the 14-yard line. Fourth and six. Thomas with the catch down to the three-yard line. Third and goal. Fisher back to pass, throws, and it's broken up by Raphael Pope. Wishes, I'm sure they had that interception. And that is an incomplete pass in the end zone. And the Jets take over. Second and six. Jacobs with the run out to the 17. It gets a first down. Now Fisher again completes this one. Pope with the stop. Second and 11. Fisher drops back, completes this one. Done with the grab and gives the Chiefs another first down. Third and 10 now in the grab. De La Rosa down to the 29. Fourth and two and Fisher throws it into the middle of nowhere. Odom carries it for a first down and that should do it. 
The Jets win this one 21-14 in Kansas City. The Jets, I felt, made some pretty good progress here in the last two games, especially with the decision to go from the 4-3 to a 3-4 defensive scheme. It just remains to be seen if the rest of the season will benefit from that change. However, there is a lot of work for the Jets to do before the start of the regular season. New York put out a trade alert. Basically, because New York decided to go with a different defense than they started the preseason with, and the decision was made that they needed to get a little stronger at the middle linebacker position. The only issue was that the Jets were out of salary cap. So defensive tackle Leonard Williams, who had a pretty fat contract, was targeted for a trade. New York found middle linebacker Taj Little, who is currently with the Broncos. Although the Jets had to give up Williams, they were able to significantly improve the middle of the field. And with him being a little younger, I'm sure that Little will be developing pretty quick. Also, with the injury to the Jets' second round draft choice, Wesley Johnson, they needed to bring in a little help at the wide receiver spot. From the Bears roster, New York found hidden development rookie Rigoberto Howard, so giving up a defensive tackle, Jose Westbrook, and next season's third round draft pick, he was brought on board. And that may end up being a better outcome for New York than having Johnson to develop, uh, getting injured may cost Johnson a starting spot, but the only good thing is that both of them are very young. And both will be developing rather quickly, I would think. So after moving some players around, the roster looks like this going into the regular season. Sam Darnold will be the signal caller, and all we can do is hope that he doesn't get injured during the season because Toby Ramsey won't be the guy that can take his spot. He just doesn't have the accuracy that is needed for this passing attack. Maybe short throws, but going downtown will be problematic at best. Jackson and Jacobs will be back with a fast back in Malcolm Odoms. The addition of Howard to the roster complicates both the slot receiver and return specialist positions uh, since he's shown good things in practice. The tight end spot is the same as last season with Herndon leading the way and to round out the offense, despite losing Michael Winkler, who's now with the Texans, the O-line is just as strong as last season due to upgrades of the entire first string players. The defense is where the real shakeup has occurred, especially in the front seven lineup. The acquisition of both Coco Sheffield and Taj Little, not to mention the change to a 3-4 defensive scheme, made quite a difference in these last two preseason games. However, the loss of Leonard Williams at defensive tackle is going to mean that Harvey Gabriel and rookie Robert Williams will really need to have to step up their game and prove that they can be the impact player that Williams was. Superstar second year man Demarcus Faulkner playing in that right outside linebacker spot is now going to get the chance to start filling that role that Jordan Jenkins, now uh, who's with the Rams, vacated at the end of last year. New York is stacked at outside linebacker with the likes of Cashman, Davis, and Carter all fighting for the starting position. Plenty of competition and outstanding depth, I would think. The cornerback spot is something that we'll need to keep a close eye on here in the early stage of this season. Both Love and Elaine are solid players. But if they don't really make a good impact, I've heard that backup strong safety 
and rising star Jerron Mason may be moved to that position. And of course, May and Adams round out the defense in a very strong way. It remains to be seen how rookies will work out as punter and kicker options, but they did pretty well in preseason, so I don't know if we'll see any issues there. New York starts out the season playing in SoFi Stadium against the Los Angeles Rams. This year, they'll play the NFC West, AFC South, along with at-large teams, the Browns and Broncos. What makes this a strange season is that New York will be playing in seven night games this year, which include a bye week in week number four, bookended by night games with the Miami Dolphins on both occasions. The Jets seeing a lot of night action and obviously plenty of younger players on their squad. Let's hope they show some maturity both on and off the field. That'll do it for our presentation of the 2024 Jets preseason. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets, although it was really tough with the salary cap issues they had to deal with, made some solid gains during this offseason. And now all they need to do is translate those gains into wins on the field. And the test begins for this team. And can they make it back to the AFC Championship game? and ultimately win Super Bowl 59? Be with us as the Jets start out the 2024 campaign on the road to meet the Rams. And until I see you in Los Angeles, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.